Hi, I'm Tim Williams with Dwyer Williams Potter Attorneys. I'm the lead litigation attorney here at the firm and also a partner. I'd like to talk a little bit about facet joint injuries. The back is comprised of several layers of bone. Between the bones are discs. Towards the rear of the spine, now this is the back and towards me is the belly, we see these bony prominences and attached to these are muscles. And then we also see joints here. These are actually sliding joints and they're called facet joints. The purpose of a facet joint is to keep the back from moving too far because without these joints, the back could hyperextend and actually break. And we don't want that. The problem with the facet joints though is they can become injured because there's a thin layer of cartilage in between each one, allowing them to slide. Sometimes an injury can occur where one of the sides of the joint is actually fractured, where the cartilage on the inside is torn, where there's an inflammatory response causing pain, which causes more inflammation and causing more pain, so it's a cyclical response, or alternatively, where there's actually a, a separation or a complete dislocation of the, of the uh, facet joint itself. While facet joint injuries can be extremely painful, they typically resolve with minimal treatment, usually anti-inflammatory medications and pain, pain medication. Sometimes, however, there's injections that are required into the joint spaces themselves to alleviate the pain and the inflammation. And in the rare instance, there's actually surgery that's performed to either take out that layer of the, the smooth cartilage that's on the inside, or sometimes in the, in the very rare instance, they'll actually take out the joint itself. I want to thank you for watching this video, and please feel free to look at the other videos on our website.